What if you could cure jet lag with a simple eye drop? Jet lag takes hold when your biological clock, the internal rhythm that ticks in time with the day-night cycle, finds itself jolted out of sync with your location. But research in the Journal of Physiology just might point to a way of taking control of that clock. Mike Ludwig, one of the study's authors, explains what they found. Firstly, population of retinal ganglion cells in the eye. This is a newly discovered group of cells in the retina, about here, at the back of your eye, where light lands. Which expressed a neuropeptide vasopressin. Vasopressin is the key here. It's a molecule that crops up all over your body. And its classical textbook function is regulating water homeostasis, water reabsorption, on the kidneys. But it does so much more than just balance water levels in our bodies. Crucially, it's found in the brain, about here, where the body clock sits, the suprachiasmatic nucleus, or SCN for short. And we already knew that there were cells producing vasopressin here, but what we're now realising is that this mechanism is regulated by cells in the eye. This is a section of the eye under a microscope, and every green dot is a cell producing vasopressin. The question was where these cells ultimately lead to. And this image of the SCN has the answer. All of the little green fibres are the cells reaching from the eye directly into the SCN. So if they are sending vasopressin to the brain, and vasopressin is the sand in our internal hourglass, there might be a way to interfere with it in a way we never could for machinery buried deep in our skulls. If we could find a way, for example, with eye drops, to manipulate specifically these vasopressin retinal ganglion cells... To inhibit them and reduce the vasopressin action. That would maybe help us to reset our biological clock faster. And hence counteract jet lag. Experiments done with mice in 2013 showed that blocking vasopressin can eradicate jet lag symptoms altogether. So why do we have it at all? Think about you going to the bathroom at night and you switch lights on. If that would reset your biological clock every time, that would be a big problem. So the clock needs to adapt to the gradual flow of night and day, but be shielded from these sudden changes. And vasopressin seems to be one of the molecules being involved with that. So if we could control the vasopressin supply reaching the SEN at specific times, we could fight not just jet lag, but the ill effects of all sorts of conditions related to disrupted sleep. It's an exciting idea, but there are plenty of barriers to overcome first. For example, we don't actually know if these vasopressin cells in the supercharismatic nucleus are as important in humans as they are in rodents. And since the study was in rats, we aren't even sure human eyes have the same cells, or that vasopressin from the source in the eye is the main source. But it does open up a whole new approach to investigate, and with a bit more research, the potential for holiday-ruining jet lag and other life-disrupting sleep disorders is tantalising.